everybody, welcome to the Sky Lounge here to review some Arsenal action as we win 3 1 against Leicester! Ah! Ah! So, there's a reason why I'm so optimistic about this match in particular because for me, I don't know about anybody else, Leicester has been the really the pinnacle of consistency in the top 10 for the last two years uh, and also you know a couple years ago they won the Premier League but they've been top 10 almost every year after that you know and so I thought man this would be a re really good litmus test to see where Arsenal's at and initially in the first half I thought all right looks like Leicester's you know outpacing everybody um, and, you know, Licksteiner made a start and left back, which was, which was curious because this was his first Premier League start and we're so reliant upon Nacho Monreal. I wasn't used to that shit. But, you know, he started, and again, Leicester looked like they were asking all the questions in the first half. They, they were just pressing, they were, they were fast, I mean, on the wings, especially uh, Chilwell, um, who can connect with Madison in the center. And then you get uh, Ian Nacho and Vardy on the on the on the top there on the forward position there, and so really I thought Leicester was dominant that first half. I thought, man, I think you know this defense and and our, our midfields were, were getting frustrated, and it, rightfully so because uh, Holding had a yellow card, you know, in the first half, and then the goal came in uh, 31st minute. You know, bad tracking um, down from, you know, I believe it was Lacazette or somebody. And goal came off of Chilwell and off of Bellerin. So it was an own goal that Bernlino conceded. And to Ber to Lino's, um, to, to Lino's uh, fucking defense, right? All right, here's the thing. Up until that goal, he was phenomenal. He, he was phenomenal. And even even more so after that, he was still spot on. He was making really great saves. One in particular, the Harry Maguire header that nearly missed because Lino was there to reach his arms out and clear it out from a dangerous zone where probably Vardy could have poached it and got another fucking goal in there. But hey, it's okay. But visibly, Ar Arsenal was frustrated. Xhaka got another yellow card. Very, very bad you know, yellow card on that guy right there, but we kind of expect that at this point with with Jaka. As much as I love the guy, you kind of expect him to just be a bit of a bit of a bull in a china shop at times when he frust when he's frustrated. But this is kind of a this is a different Arsenal. I, I will say that the, you know this match especially showed me this is a different Arsenal squad. So 45th minute of the match, okay, 45th minute of the match. Tonight's captain. Mesut Ozil gets a goal in there, and it starts off with the break that Ozil legitimately starts, and he passes off in the wing to Bellerin. Bellerin, who crosses it straight to Ozil, and Ozil just able to flick it past Kasper Schmeichel, and Schmeichel had no chance. Schmeichel had no chance. This guy didn't know where the fucking ball was, and Ozil just nets it past him, and it's 1-0 right before the first half ends. And so... Arsenal really carried that momentum forward because as soon as the second half starts, you can see Arsenal just going at it. They were just pounding and just pressing up really high. And I really enjoyed that. You know, Iwobi, shout out to Iwobi because he won't be on the stat sheet today, but Iwobi has been phenomenal and he deserves that first line startup because he has been lights out, physical, fast, more astute and aware of where everything is on the pitch now, which is incredible because this this kid, you know, just last season we're like, what the fuck is going on with him? Like we, he had this you know spark, and then a season later he's he's kind of phased out. But now this season, him and Danny Welbeck especially have been just critical uh, in Arsenal's success. And here's a crazy thing: Aubameyang gets subbed on in the 61st minute along with uh, Guendouzi, who gets subbed out for Mkhitaryan, and I believe um, I believe Lichsteiner in the 61st minute. And in the 63rd minute, straight up, 63rd minute, Aubameyang gets the goal from a Bellerin assist. And again, Schmeichel had no chance to get this. Schmeichel had absolutely no chance. And honestly, I think the defender, I think Chilwell or uh, one of the defenders for Leicester really had to do a better job there. But Aubameyang, wide open, scores in. Two minutes being after being subbed on, he scores. 
to get us ahead 2-1. And what else? What does he do literally three minutes after that? I, it was unbelievable. Fast break. This was, this was just nuts because it was fast break, crisp pass, and it was from, I believe it was uh, from Bellerin to Ozil to Aubameyang, and Aubameyang gets the brace. And it's it's just it's just insane because I thought okay, sixty sixty sixth minute we got the third goal we're up three one we came back from a one nil deficit I'm expecting us to just you know you know park the bus you know maybe maybe just stop on the offense but no Arsenal kept attacking that's what that's what really surprised me today eighty fifth eighty sixth even to the ninetieth minute deep into extra time. You see Arsenal keep playing. They keep playing and they keep pressing high up. And I was just I was just blown away. A, how dominant Mesut Ozil was. Mesut Ozil was just unbelievable today. He was really lights out. The way he positioned himself on the pitch, the way he allowed um, runners to get forward and him controlling the ball and really just being that field general today. He was lights out today. A goal and an assist. Hector Bellerin, despite the own goal, with the two assists, it's because of the way he was, you know, possessing the ball, the way he was controlling that ball. It was unbelievable. And I, I swear to you, Lacazette, for all his efforts, did not get on the score sheet. And Lacazette really missed some open sitters and oh, really some wide open fucking see, uh, shots. And really, this match really could have been a 6-2 Arsenal win. All right, and I'm I'm not I'm not saying that to just piss people off, but really, Arsenal should have had more goals. And if it weren't for you know some timely saves by Bern Lino, it it really would have been another goal for Leicester. Or I believe early in the first half it would have been. But Arsenal, as of late, even when they're down one 0 I'm not really worried anymore, which is crazy because again, this this really does have to speak about how different the you know the coaching has been it's been run 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 you know run pass look for the open man pick up after your teammates it's been a really solid team game and i'm i've been loving it and this guy four goals in two appearances all as sub all as a sub i you know i think on my early season prediction i said uh bombing might get 25 plus goals i think he, he's fast on track to do that and as for Arsenal, this puts us at fourth in the league. believe a couple of goal differentials behind Chelsea, who drew against Manchester United uh, this past weekend. But we are ahead of Tottenham. We are in fourth place. Home sweet home. And this makes it 10 straight wins for Arsenal. I can't fucking believe it myself. 10 straight matches where they've won. I really don't know what to do. Do I celebrate? Do I freak out? Like, what do I do? I don't know, but I'm feeling really good. You know, as an Arsenal fan, I, I can't help but feel good about this performance. It's been a really positive experience to watch these guys just get out of the rut from that first two uh, losses early on in the season against uh, Manchester City and Chelsea. And, yeah, credit, credit to all, you know, the Arsenal boys, but at the same time, let's be real honest, man. The, the opponents haven't been as, you know, tough in terms of uh, on-paper, you know, uh, strength. But I honestly thought, I honestly think this Leicester City match was a litmus test, and I think they passed with flying colors. And so this upcoming week, we got the Europa League match at Sporting CP, which is in Portugal. And Portugal is the only other team in the Europa League in our group that is undefeated as well. So this is going to be a tough match for Arsenal. Uh, you're going away. And then you're coming back that very weekend, you know, on, on another away fixture. So this is going to be really tough. You know, a home match win against Leicester City. It, it's, you know, it's not it's not a given, of course. But it, it's going to be a lot more easier than this back-to-back -back, uh, away schedule that Arsenal has to do. So best of luck to Arsenal. Come on, you Gunners. I can't, I can't fucking believe it right now. It's, it's a good fucking day. So let me know what you guys think. You know, follow me at the Skylounge and all links in the description below. Like, comment, and subscribe for more daily contents. Fuck off.